everyone. Uh, my name is Mehnush. I am a queer activist from Iran. For me, International Women's Day is a day of unity and solidarity between women with various identities. I think by now, I think we agree that feminism is intersectional. Um, LGBT community has come a long way in Western countries. Uh, in gaining their human rights. This would not be possible without the help of feminists who oppose all kinds of oppression and discrimination. Iran has become one of the most dangerous places in the world for queer and trans community as a result of institutionalized misogyny, social and state-sponsored homophobia and transphobia and governance based on Sharia law. Among LGBT members, queer and trans women are affected the hardest because in addition to homophobia and transphobia, they are faced with gender-based violence, unemployment, compulsory hijab, forced marriages, poverty, and you name it. Just weeks ago, a news from a shelter in Tehran that had refused to take in transgender women uh, based on her gender identity went viral. However, usually these issues do not become news. In the shadow of strict and censorship around queer and trans related issues, which is enforced through persecution and death threats against LGBT activists or jurisdiction and security forces, many stor uh, stories of the community like their harassment by the police, their expulsion from school, sexual victimization never enter into public sphere inside Iran. The authorities know if we start talking about our stories and lives, um, change is inevitable. And they cannot accept it. Hence, international forums are the only places available right now where our voices can be heard and circulated, and hopefully something can be done. Today I ask you as individuals, and some of you may be members and representatives of organizations and associations, to be the voice of this extremely marginalized community especially those who live in regions where homosexual act is punishable with death penalty. Um, I hope one day we could celebrate this day and uh, you know, our achievements like every other woman in the Canada and internationally. Thank you. <laughs>